Most people are ashamed to talk about their failures, which I think is a total waste. You see, I'm completely convinced that failure does not exist. There are only lessons to be learned. And that's why it's very important to be open about your failures. Once you talk it out, you stop denying that something went wrong and start searching for solutions to your problems. Most importantly, other people can learn from your mistakes. That is why today I want to tell you a story of how I lost $100,000 pursuing my dream of empowering thousands of people to travel more. It's, um, it's, a, it's a very personal and difficult story to tell, but, but I'll try. Um, there won't be any fancy locations in this video, just you, me, and, and the house I grew up in. Um, let's start from the very beginning. When I was eight years old, my school teacher asked the whole class to sign up for extracurricular activities. All the boys in my class went for basketball, while I felt fancy and decided to go for ballroom dancing. No one understood why, but no one had any objections. So I started dancing. At first, it was just a fun thing to do, but eventually, at the age of 15, me and my partner became the vice champions of our country and the 14th couple in the whole world. Uh, I had a certain amount of fame, I could already make a, a really good living uh, teaching other people how to dance, and life was good. Except it wasn't. I slowly began to realize that I wanted to do something more with my life, something that had an actual impact on other people's lives, something that had the chance to make the world a better place. So, to the complete surprise of everyone around me, I decided to quit dancing and start searching for my next thing. It took me a while, but ultimately I decided that I wanted to become an entrepreneur. I was completely immersed in the idea that the only businesses that succeed are ones that solve people's problems and thus make their lives better. That drove me big time. So I wasted no time and established my first corporation at the age of 15. 10 months later, I sold that company to my business partner in a relatively profitable deal and continued running various online ventures. During those years, I, I did travel quite a bit to different places in Europe and the United States for various conferences, events, and, and meetings, but very, very ironically, I never found traveling interesting or meaningful in any way. This all changed when suddenly, at the age of 19, I was invited to attend this really cool entrepreneurship conference in Kuala Lumpur, partly organized by the Malaysian government. Basically, they invited 500 young entrepreneurs to spend one week in Kuala Lumpur working on various social initiatives. This was my very first time in Asia and it completely opened my eyes and made me realize how much I hadn't known about other cultures, religions, uh, countries and ways of life. When I got back to Europe, I felt like someone had just given me the keys to an undiscovered new world and it would have been a sin not to explore it. So. Two months later, I went on my first big travel adventure. I spent three months exploring five different Southeast Asian countries and that trip, it, uh, <laughs> it was definitely the best thing that had ever happened to me. I mean, in those three short months, I learned a lot more than in, in my entire life, basically. And, and after that trip, I, I simply couldn't stop traveling. In the coming years, I continued running various online businesses while also exploring tons of wonderful places around the world. From the high Himalayas in India, to the rice fields of Vietnam, the deserts of Dubai, the breathtaking islands of Taiwan, and, and a lot more. Even though I was financially independent and had the time of my life traveling the world, I slowly came back to the same question that got me quit dancing. How will my life contribute to making the world a better place? But as much as I thought about it, I, I simply couldn't find the answer until one fateful night in Thailand when I found myself lying on the ground, motionless, completely covered in blood. You see, four years into my travels, I was running a really successful online coupons company with, with two partners. And every year we would organize our team retreats where we would rent a villa somewhere in Asia, fly the whole team there and spend one month living together, working together and obviously having a lot of fun. That year, we organized our team retreat in Phuket, Thailand, which was going really well until one night when everything changed. It was nine o'clock at night and I was riding my scooter to the closest ATM from my villa. A few moments later, I was passing another scooter on the road when suddenly 
At the very last moment, they weird off course and crashed right into me. Because, apparently, the driver was completely drunk. For the first time in my life, I lost consciousness. When my friend approached me, I was lying on the ground motionless, completely covered in blood. Some minutes later, I suddenly stood up and started shivering uncontrollably. When the emergency finally arrived, I was rushed to the hospital where they told me I had dislocated my cheekbone and fractured it four times. It took me a while to get back on my feet, but as the days passed and my health improved, I started looking back on everything that traveling brought to my life. And I realized that it was the best decision I had ever made despite the bloody scooter accident. And then it hit me. My personal mission, my life's calling was there all along. I wanted to inspire and empower as many people as I could to travel the world. Because I realized that if everyone traveled just a bit, the world would be a much more beautiful place as racism, religious intolerance and many other unkind things simply wouldn't exist because people would, would realize that we're all the same. We're, we're all just people. I was incredibly excited about my newfound mission and I wanted to start working towards it as soon as I could. Finally, at the end of 2017, I came up with the best business idea I had ever heard in my entire life. I decided to create Explorio, a next level travel reviews platform that would reward its users for contributing travel reviews, thus allowing them to fund their travels indefinitely. Our long-term vision was to have thousands of people who travel the world all the time and the only thing they do for work is write travel reviews of the places they visit. I uh, started the project on the 7th of January 2018 and dropped pretty much everything else I did. Working on the project 24-7, I quickly built a team of incredibly experienced employees, advisors and influencers. We knew that Explorio will require a lot of funding to become a successful project. And because we were building the project on the blockchain, we decided to crowdfund it by launching our own cryptocurrency. However, by the time we were ready to launch our crowdfunding campaign, the crypto market was in a downward spiral as it had crashed 50% in the last few months. At that point, very few projects were raising any money because most people have lost tremendous amounts of money on their crypto investments. So we decided to use mine and our private investors money to start developing the platform while waiting for the market to recover. As the months went by, I worked more and more and more on this project, sometimes feeling completely overworked and exhausted, all for that mission that was more important to me than anything. As a result, we made exceptional progress on the development of Explorio and were ready to launch it publicly in Barcelona on the 12th of November 2018. But the market didn't recover. On the contrary, it crashed more than anyone could have imagined, 85% in the last eight months. Obviously, we had to abandon any hopes of a successful crowdfunding campaign and all of our other funding options relied on us being able to make a lot of money in the first few months of operations, which was close to impossible due to the nature of our business. You see, we would only make a tiny commission on every booking made on our platform. And thus, in order to survive, we would have to make bookings of over a million dollars per month just to survive. Faced with this harsh reality, I had a few really tough days and nights when, when my mind was running at 500 kilometers per hour and I, and I simply couldn't stop it. It is uh, 3 a.m. right now. I've been trying to fall asleep for a very long time. I still can't do it. I just feel so anxious and so stressed and there's a chance I'll have to just say goodbye to all of my team members on Monday. Eventually, we came to the conclusion that there was no other option but to cease working on Explorio as, as we simply didn't have a way to, to fund the company. Today is Monday, the 17th of September, and it's the last day of the Explorio. It's over, we can't go further anymore. Um, yeah, I guess no, um, no, no situations in life are... <laughs> either good or bad they're just uh, they just are what they are and um, you know every time the door 
close this, the, the windows open, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure this will turn out as a, as a beautiful, cool thing down the road. Um, and when I look back on it in retrospect, I'll be happy with everything that happened. So it is what it is. I need to explain everything to my team. Um, apologize for letting them down because it's my responsibility that we failed. And, um, and see where life takes me. By that time, we had obviously spent our private investors' money on developing the platform, but, but I decided to refund all of that from, from my own pocket, netting me a loss of $100,000 and making me the only person who lost any money on this venture. I am I'm not brought up about the money I lost, even though, of course, of course, the situation is not ideal. However, I'm really saddened by the fact that we weren't able to fulfill our vision, which was to inspire and empower thousands of people to travel more by allowing them to fund their travels indefinitely. That hurts a lot more than all the money I lost. Too many people worked on this project to name them all, but, but I want to thank every single one of them. We would not have gone this far without you guys. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. The day I announced the end of Explorio, I was experiencing the lowest point in my professional career ever since launching that first company of mine nine years ago. However, when life gives you lemons, you don't sit around crying, you squeeze them hard. So I went back home from my co-working space, shaved, took a one hour long nap and started a completely new chapter of my life. Because I spent the last eight months and 10 days working on Explore You pretty much 24 seven, now I want to take a couple of months off to once again start traveling really, really actively. And then having thought everything through, start a new project to continue where Explore You left off. Because my mission in life stays the same and it doesn't matter if I achieve it with Explore You or something else entirely, but I will achieve it. If there's one thing you take away from this video, it has to be this. There are no mistakes in your life, only lessons. There are two ways to look at the situation. First one is something that most people would do, I guess, where they would say, oh no, I lost you know, so much money. I let so many people down. I, I failed my mission. I, I spent eight months and 10 days working on this 24 seven, all for nothing, right? But the second way, I've had the chance to take part in the best university the world has ever seen that was only open for eight months and 10 days, only for me. The tuition cost $100,000 and in order to participate, I had to spend 24 seven of my time for those classes, which is exactly what I did. And now, finally, I've graduated from that university a hundred times smarter and more experienced than ever before. My network expanded, I came up with tons of really awesome ideas, I got a lot of experience, I got a lot of you know, theoretical knowledge, and, and I'm a completely new human being right now. Even though with both of these ways, the situation will, will obviously not change, but your attitude to that situation changes everything. You see, I'm completely convinced that months down the road or years down the road, you and me will laugh about this situation and thank our lucky stars that, that this happened because all of these ideas, all these connections, all, all of this experience will lead to, to something new and something potentially much, much, much bigger. And always remember that you can do anything you want to do. You can be anything you want to be. When you fail, just laugh about it learn your lesson, stand up and keep working towards your dream. There's not a single person in the world who achieved anything without failing. Just stand up and do it again, over and over and over and over again. There's one thing that will always remind me of Explore You and that grand vision I sacrificed myself for. It's the t-shirt we made for our lounge. I don't have it here with me right now because it's still being shipped to me, but once I receive it, I will wear it very, very, very proudly everywhere I go. The reason it says Explore You is because every single person who would have used Explore You would have been called an Explore You. Being an Explore You is not just about traveling the world or ticking countries off of your list. Being an Explore You is all about being yourself. It's about living life on your own terms and fighting for your dreams, whatever they are. 
It's remembering that life is short and making the most of it. It's about traveling not to escape life, but for life not to escape you. Ultimately, it's about not getting caught up in stupid superficial things and being happy with your life every single day. Even though we are not going to launch Explore You, from now on, I will start calling myself and every single person who watches my videos, yes, you, an explorer. Why? Because you are an explorer. Think about it. If you weren't, why would you watch me getting hit by drunk drivers in Thailand or riding motorbikes in the high Himalayas in India during crazy snowstorms or jumping into waterfalls or exploring caves or visiting countries like Iran or, or, or scaling roofs or doing so many other things? You wouldn't. You are an explorer. Because you live life on your own terms and you never give up fighting for your dreams. Thank you for being such a big part of my life. You mean the world to me. Thank you very much.